लाइट कैमरा रोलिंग एक्शन व्हाट्सअप गाइस फॉर दिस फॉर दिस वीडियो आई एम few moments later what's up guys my name is Trent Fisher aka Tap Studios and for my first video here on YouTube i'm going to be showing you how to create a watercolor painting just quickly here i'm going to be showing you the materials i will be using for this video i will be using watercolor paints i bought from Curry's it's a local art store in Canada i'm not too sure if it's international i just know it's where i'm at so we have the basic little bowl of this you don't can use anything a cup full of water just, you know just put water in it and the brushes you could go basic i honestly just i don't even know where i got these then we have the palette and we have the painter's tape for the painter's tape this is just an option here you don't have to use it i just like to use it because it gives a nice order around the painting also you might want to use a piece of paper towel on the side just so you can fix out mistakes or anything because it's very it's water-based paint so you can use paper towel if you want to fix a mistake because these things really do dry fast. That was my biggest issue for studying water paints. I mean watercolor paints. What watercolor painting? So you can't really overlay it like acrylic and oil. You could just fix it, go over it. Watercolor. So now let's get started with this video and don't forget to click the like and subscribe button down below and feel free to tune into any of my social media accounts. Before I get started, I'm just going to make the border using the painter's tape. This is what I was mentioning before. Then right after that, I get started with the actual drawing. So first thing I do is identify the horizon line, because this is a landscape painting. I'm just using a basic lead pencil because it doesn't have to be anything special. And you always want to keep your sketch light in the beginning, but maybe I went a little too light considering you guys can't see what I'm drawing. Then once the sketch is done, I get my bigger flat brush and I wet the page with a little bit of water, but no paint just yet. I do this because when I add my paints, it will have a soft surface and it will help create softer textures. Then once we're good to go, I start to move on with some color. And at this stage, we're just blocking in some shapes and sticking to the basic colors in the scene, this being the blue, pink, and purple. Just going around my sketch, I like to drop in the colors in the darker spots, then sort of blend it out. Same thing with the pink clouds, just I'm going a little bit lighter because they're a little more complicated than the sky. So right here I went a little too dark, but no worries, I can just use a piece of paper towel to clean it up before it dries. And I'm just putting in a more saturated color now to show some of the sunlight. Also, using an extra piece of paper to test out colors really comes in handy. Now I would just call this my mid stage where I just go with the flow and add layers on top of layers.
Here I'm noticing that some areas need to be darker so I'm adding less water and for those places that need to be blended more, I'm adding more water. You really want to make sure you're not overdoing it though. When I want a softer look, I use my round brush just because that's how it seems to work with water. Then when I want to paint with a little more texture, I'm using my flat brush. Just gonna add more water with the paint to bleed out the reflection of the clouds. and some more blending and fixing up areas I'm not satisfied with. One thing I try to do as well is show more detail and texture in the foreground and less detail with blended colors in the background. This is only logic because things close up look more detailed than they do far away. And try and avoid using pitch black, it just stands out way too much. Instead, try and add a little bit of other colors like dark purple, dark blue, or even a little bit of brown. So next here, I'm just doing the outline for the branches in the foreground. Although I'm drawing over what I painted, it's fine because it's going to be covered in the end. The technique I'm using for the leaves and the sticks are kind of random. This is okay though because natural things like leaves, rocks, and mountains are never really perfect shapes anyways. And we're done. So that pretty much just wraps up the video here. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed watching this process. Also, let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay updated for new content.